latest video about RDS server. This video will show you how to configure Solid CP to use with RDS. So it does expect that you already have the RDS roles as gateway and RD web installed on a server with Solid CP set up on the, for that server and the portal and enterprise up and running or within an active directory environment. So once you've got your server and you've added it to Solid CP, you can then go to Remote Desktop Services, and within here you can set the SSL certificate. This should be the same certificate that's used for your gateway in RD Web. Um, you doesn't need to be a PFX format with a password, and you can also set the connections import so you can import resources from the RD gateway along with the router U and the computer's router U. These are expected to be created before these settings are updated. You also need to specify your primary domain controller, this is the controller that Solid CP will use when being able to interact with the accounts for AD. You can also set your central policy server for, for AD if you've got it enabled and also your gateway servers. Once this is com be completed you can click update and it shouldn't error. You can then go to RDS servers under configuration select add RDS server you need to enter the fully qualified domain name for the server so ours is test vm07 and our domain is solid.local you can also add a comment so if it's for specific customer you can put um, RDS with no office so if you need to assign it you know it's not got an office installed for example once this has been done, this add-in server does take a little while. It does do a few different things during that time. It will ping the server, so you need to make sure the server you're going to use for the session host is online and pingable from the gateway. It will also check the various roles such as the RDS session host, desktop experience, .NET framework are installed and if not install them for you and it will then reboot the server it is recommended that if you are going to create a template you pre-install these roles so it just speeds things up a little bit now once this has been added you can see that you can actually see the information of it you can then also if you go to a user and look at the, you can assign them the RDS server so you select a specific server you can also have the hosting plan pre give them a server that's not being currently used so you could form a pool of a new servers in the RDS servers and configuration and they're automatically passed out. You can then create a collection which will allow them to be able to access it. This will also add the server to RD web. So we've got a test. You, you can have multiple servers here if say if you needed to load balance two or three of them. It does take a little while because it is talking to the RD gateway, making sure that it's all available and the collection is created. And once this is done, you'll be able to see that we can set settings on the server, such as administrators. So, say if 
the organization has one IT person they can have access and install any software they require. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please post them on that forum. There is one extra session you might need to set, and it's in configuration, system settings. Then in the RDS setting, you can then set your main RDS controller. This will normally be set when you first create an RDS desktop services provider. If you have more than one, you need to select which one will be the main.